I started playing when I was 12 years old. Um, I was, I'm 30 now, so I was really into the whole emo thing, the indie rock thing that was big when I was in high school. So um, name any obscure emo band and I was into it. You know, we were all into like our bleeding hearts and you know, like spilling our emotions, emotions in these poorly written songs. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, yeah, that's how I got into guitar playing. I thought I was going to be a lead singer in an emo band. and. Um, six years after trying to make it as a band, I just realized I liked being a musician a lot more than writing songs, you know, being a singer and being a front man. So um, I got connected with Jesus Culture at the beginning of that, you know, 10, 12 years ago, and we've all been together ever since. So the first time I saw a Gretsch was hanging on the wall in a studio and I just had no idea what it was. It was actually a white Falcon and I was like that guitar is crazy looking. It's so big and I would never be able to play it because I'm a smaller dude. And uh, I remember we got on stage and we were going to record an album and our producer was just like, you got to play this scratch. It's not, you know, the album's not complete without it. And we were actually filming um, an album called Consumed. And so I ended up that I played that guitar throughout the whole film. Um, through that whole night because it just sounded that good and it looked cool on me even though it kind of took up my entire frame <laughs> so <laughs> well the Gretsch sound is definitely ACDC you know the rhythm guitar that we all love and kind of seek after is that ACDC it's that grit and it's that Malcolm Young thing so um, I my brain goes to ACDC but visually I think Beatles, you know, I see the um, the George Harrison, the like vintage look, that classy, like I'm wearing a suit and I'm playing a black Gretsch or a white Gretsch and it's just like so rock and roll, but so classy and so like, you know, kind of elegant in a way. And, and that Filtertron, it's just become an, an iconic Gretsch sound and um, it's hard to describe, but it's sort of milky, it's fluid, it's clear. It's a lot clearer than like a, the hot pickups that um, other guitars have. You know, it's it's the Filtertrons provide that um, big warm sound with a ton of clarity, a ton of top end, and so um, that for me has kind of defined me as a player. You know, um, my sound is 50 to 70 percent Gretsch over the years on on records, on all of our records, and so. Um, I don't leave home without one. So I'm sitting here with my latest Gretsch. This is a, a Vintage Select 53 Duo Jet. Uh, and I've always loved Duo Jets. The first guitar I owned of Gretsch was a Duo Jet. And, um, but this year I wanted to try something a little outside of my box, something new for me, and so that was the um, the single coil Dynasonic pickups, which I haven't had before, and I'm totally loving. Um, our new record that has come out recently is, kind of features that cleaner, um, tighter guitar sound, so I love this guitar for that purpose. Um, it's got a nice, gritty, punchy low end, it's got um, great high end. It's just all around is very clear. Yeah, it has a lot of clarity, a lot of punch and still retains that great Gretsch sound. You know, it's a it's such an iconic classic sound that Gretsch does. You know, once you hear it, it's like oh, that's a Gretsch. You know, you can pick it up on records. And so um, I've always been drawn to that sound. It's been, you know, instrumental, uh, no pun intended, for our sound as a group and especially as me for me as an artist. But um, this year I kind of wanted to tighten up, kind of clean up a little bit, and this DuoJet kind of did that for me. Um, like I said, it's got Dynasonics, it's single coil, so um, most of the time I use the bridge pickup, probably 90% of the songs or the set list I'll be on bridge pickup, but um, I do love the neck. It's a nice big full neck sound, really warm, and um, yeah, but the, the bridge setting, you know, I, I get a lot of, I do like a lot of single note low stuff and uh, with some overdrive with some, like, I play more British style amps, so it really drives the amp and um, brings a lot of clarity and 
a full range of EQ and it's, yeah, I've been loving it. It's really comfortable to play and it just sounds amazing. So I can't wait to get in the studio with it. I also love the look of the guitar. It's a bit of a throwback, uh, you know, it's the 53 vintage select. So it's got the new um, logo on the headstock, well, new old. Yeah, it's just classy. I love the entire look of this guitar. It's hard to pick a favorite, I think, of the Gretches I own. I think I've played the Falcon the most. Um, when people hear our records, they hear the Falcon because it's so, you, you can't get that sound unless you're playing a Falcon. It sounds like a Falcon, there is no other match to it. So um, a lot of the parts that I write, when I wanna get inspired and I'm just like not finding it in other guitars, I'll pick up the Falcon and it's like, boom, it's instant tone. It's like that instant Falcon sound and I, it's really easy for me to write parts on that kind of become signature for our songs. Um, so that's been a huge part of my career is the Falcon. Now on the road or like just um, the workability of a guitar, I like a smaller compact guitar. So I usually travel with a duo jet. Um, I have a 2005 duo jet with the big head stock. I also have a sparkle jet, a green sparkle jet that is um, newer that I love. And now I have this. So I have, you know, options to choose from. I also have a, a um, hollow body junior um, thinner Gretsch. Uh, and it sort of does that white falcon thing, but in a smaller compact body. So usually on our stage um, and on the records, we have at least two electrics happening at once. You know, it's kind of the standard. So uh, what's been great about always having a Gretsch on stage is that it doesn't matter what the other guitarist is playing, if it's like a, a solid body single coil guitar or it could be, um, you know, something with humbuckers or something, but the Gretsch has that specific sound that sort of pairs great with a thinner guitar on stage or with a dirtier guitar on stage. You know, they clean up nice or they get fat and big. So um, it's, it's always a sure fire if I bring a Gretsch on stage as it's going to pair nicely with the other guy. We have a song called Fierce on the radio right now, and I wrote all the guitar parts for that song on a Falcon. Um, I remember specifically trying to play the guitar parts that I thought would be appropriate on uh, hollow body guitars, and I, our producer looked at me, and, he, and we have the, always have this exchange in the studio. He, he looks at me, and he's like, let's, let's get the Falcon. He just puts it in my hand, and it's like instant magic. And so that's how that song's guitar part sort of came together. It like wasn't working until I grabbed the Falcon and, and played it. And I, actually that's like the same story for a lot of our records. A lot of our songs kind of happen that way, so.